Hi kiddos, let's practice our letters and sounds. And I'm going to introduce you to a new letter today that we haven't practiced yet. So we're going to start out just like we always do with look, listen, and say. You look at the letter, I will tell you the name and the sound that it makes, and then you repeat it. Ready? O, A, I, I, A, A, O, A, C, K, A, A, B, B, N, N, P, P, F, A, A, M, M, G, 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 I, I, D, D, N, N, T, T, R, R, M, M, S, S, B, B, G, G, C, K, P, P, F, F, D, D, T, T, S, S, R, R. Good job. All right, our new letter, which you might have already guessed, is the letter X. The capital X and the lowercase x look exactly the same. One is just tall, one is short. They make the sound x. It's like taking a k sound and an s sound and putting them together. X. 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 All right, so let's look at some pictures. We don't have a lot of words that start with an x, so we're going to look instead at the ending sound. So you're going to have to listen through the whole word for the last sound to see if it ends with a x or a t. Ready? My first picture is cut. Think about the last sound you hear. Cut. That's right, it ends with a t. K, a t. That last sound is t. How about ox? What's the last sound you hear in ox? Good, ox only has two sounds. Ox, and you can hear that X at the end. How about boat? What's the last sound you hear in boat? Good, T. What about six? Say the sounds. Good, that's a X, X sound at the end. X. What about mix? You're right, that's also a X sound. In fact, six and mix are rhyming words. How about kite? What's the last sound you hear? Good, that's a T sound. How about fox? There's another X. Ox. What about quilt? Quilt. That's right, it has a t at the end. What about box? Box has that x sound at the end. And the last one is kit. Good, that one ends with a t as well. So we've got ox, six, Mix, fox, and box. That all end, end with that x, x sound. All right, so how do we make the letter x? Well, let's practice for a second. I'm going to draw our lines just like this. And we're going to start by making a slanty line that goes from the top to the bottom. Just like that. Then I'm going to slide over, kind of so it's even with this line down here, and I'm going to slide the other way. Just like that. Notice that the part where they cross 
happens right about that fence. That's where we want it to end up. Lowercase x is the same thing. We start at the fence and we go slanty down and then slide over, slanty down, just like that. I'm going to do one more of each. Slanty line, slanty line, and slanty line, slanty line. What you want to be careful of is making sure that when you make your cross that it doesn't end up too low. Because guess what he starts to look like then? He starts to look like a Y. We don't want to get anybody confused. All right, let's see if we can read a few words that have that X sound in them. So I'm going to write a word and you try to figure out my word. All right, say those sounds, see if you can figure out what my word says. Let's read it. B, A, X, box. Good job, let's try another one. How about this one? Good, that one is X fix. Nice. What about this word? See the sounds? T X tax. Good job. Try this one. The sounds are m x mix. Let's try a couple more. This one only has two sounds in it. X x. Good job. Last one. Ready? What's that word? Ox. Fox. Very good. Thank you for practicing your letters and sounds with me today. You can get your own dry erase board and marker if you have one at home, or even just a piece of paper. Practice some of those letter X's. Slanty line, slanty line. Try to make them cross right in the middle and keep reading. See you soon. Bye.